Hello, me Brett here. You're watching Meepers Minecraft. Uh, we're broadcasting live as we continue to work on new Meeper Command. We are on our guest quarters level, and we've made a few changes since uh, the other day when we did a little update. We have finished decorating our master suite. It has a water theme. We've used some... Um, oh, there's a little mistake here. We've used wool to make a nice little decoration here, um, art exhibit on the back wall. We've used light blue wool, cayenne, and blue wool. Uh, we've got a couch and a coffee table, and we have this very cool bed feature with some water coming down and a beautiful view out the window. This faces west and has a beautiful sunset. And some wardrobes here, and we go into our master suite. And we have our toilet with lapis lazuli, a stone pressure on, plate on top, double sinks, and this awesome shower tub. And we have figured out a new way to make showers using dispensers. Uh, there's a dispenser up there, has a bucket of water in it. You press the button, water comes down, you take your shower. And when you press the button again, the water gets sucked back up. Uh, or rather stops flowing. Uh, or you can take a bath. We've put a dispenser in the corner here. And now we've got a nice little bath for us to take. They're very nice. La 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 la. So that is our master suite. Uh, in a previous video we had shown you our children's room which had a jungle theme. Uh, we actually made some changes. The jungle room used to be over here. We have relocated it for uh, various reasons. Uh, I thought the junior suite needed to be bigger. Uh, so this is our new kids room with our junior suite with our jungle theme. Uh, basically, you know, same design and pattern with the, with the, gr the lime green and green wool checkered floor uh, carpet. Uh, we've got our beds, our wardrobe. We've got our little, they're like bunk beds, but not exactly bunk beds here. Our vines on the wall, our cocoa beans, and there is an attached bath here with a bathtub. Uh, same thing, and as in the master suite. Our toilet, which has jungle wood, uh, continuing our jungle theme, and uh, double sinks and vanities. And we are now going to continue work on our junior suite, which uh, is going to have a desert theme. Uh, so we are going to, we have made sandstone ceilings previously uh, in this area, uh, but this room is gonna be um, made of sandstone almost entirely. Um, actually, I think we're gonna use uh, smooth sandstone for this. I think I have some here somewhere. Sand, smooth sandstone, there we go. I might have to make more of that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And we've done sandstone. I actually didn't have a lot of sandstone and I realized we had a lot of sandstone slab. So I used that to make the floor and that actually is kind of a good way I realized to save on resources in general. Um, you can use the slab. Um, it makes a lot more because sandstone can be one of those things that's, uh, oops, kind of annoying to get. Uh, and sometimes I'll ask, I, I like decorating, and sometimes I'll ask uh, Miparachi for, for his input. So I'll play around with this here and see what I come up with and, and see what he thinks. Uh, I think I need some more smooth sandstone. Chiseled sandstone, sandstone. I can't remember if I can make it here. I can do it here. Couldn't recall if I could do it with a, if I needed a craft bench or I could do it right there. And I think what I'm gonna do is make this back area a bathroom and extend this wall out a little bit uh, for what we call our junior suite. Uh, now this, this glowstone is from when the other room used to be here and take that out for now. Use my silk touch on my glowstone so I can place it where I need it later on. And uh, drop through here so I can pick it up on my floor. 
Oh, and I have some vines that had grown down here when I was moving things around. So we'll take those down. This is our, uh, we have between all our floors, we have some space for, so we can create lighting for our rooms below, as well as um, just to put glowstone in the floor for the rooms above. Um, this is below the bed. Um, since you can't put carpet down and put a bed on top of it, what we do instead is we make the block wool and put the bed on top of it so it looks like the carpet's consistent. Um, we have room, this is where our tubs are. Um, so we have, you know, our space for that and all our space for, for our inner workings and things. And it allows us to be a little bit more creative in our floors and use different materials. Uh, so I definitely recommend doing that when you're designing a space. Uh, let's put up some torches in here so I can see what I'm doing as it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. And I will begin to design my bath back here, um, which uh, I've got a lot of sandstone on me. Um, what else do I need? Um... I need a call. I'll need buckets of water and some cauldrons. I need to make some cauldrons. Um, I think I've kind of got everything. What I need is on me. So I need to get some iron so that I can make. I need three cauldrons: one for the toilet um, and two sinks. Uh, takes a lot of iron, so it's one of those resources uh, that we use a lot of in this game. So there we go, I've got my three cauldrons. Put my iron back, and uh, I can start uh, sort of mapping out what it is I want to do here. Uh, these are tools I don't really need at the moment. So I'm going to put them there, out of my hot box. Now, I think, can you make smooth sandstone slab? I don't, I mean, I think it looks the same on the top either way. Yeah, it looks the same. You can't even make smooth sandstone slab because it looks the same. So I'm going to start designing my bathroom here. It will be in this space back here. And I have to kind of decide where I want things to be. Um, so I think this room will have... Uh, Maybe just a shower. What do you think, Meeparachi? Should you have a shower tub or just a shower? What was that? The junior suite. Just a tub. Just a tub? Just a tub. Nah, no, no. They gotta have a shower. No. Yeah, they do. They have to have a shower. A <laughs> uh, I think I might uh, maybe put a little shower in the back here. Uh, against the window. And you can shower and look out the window. And that'll be kind of fun. Uh, maybe a toilet here and some sinks over here. So I'm going to play around and uh, see what I come up with. Um, so if I'm going to do a shower here. Mm -hmm. Like that, and this is your shower here. And uh, I think I'll put some windows back in here, make a nice big window. And uh, go back to my crafting table. I do a lot of going back and forth here with the decorating. Keep all my stuff in here. And I need some uh, sandstone stairs. Um, so with the showers, if you want the water to stay in the same place without uh, getting messy all over the place, um, actually we'll keep that. Um, do this and uh, we'll try.
try this. See how this see how this works. And um We'll have the water come down. You need to have a hole for it to go. It needs to be because if you don't have it, if it comes down and comes in here, it, it will spread all over the place. Um, it needs to have like one slot uh, to fall into. So you sort of kind of end up with this weird concept with a shower where it's not necessarily. It has to be a, f a full, I think only one side needs to be a full block. So you have the stair here, I think keeps it, if I recall, I have to, keeps it from spreading all over the place. If you did four slabs all around, it, w it would spread. Um, sure. Niparachi's preparing me a snack. A healthy snack. Uh, some vegetables, uh, some green pepper. So, uh, and I will... Meat for trivia? Oh, okay, meat for trivia. Uh, who's the number one consumer of green peppers in North America? Any guesses? Any guesses? <laughs> There's no one there! Oh, no! Um, that would be meepers. We like green peppers a lot. We eat a lot of green peppers. Uh, <laughs> so now I need a dispenser. I have a whole bunch in here. Um, I got such a green pepper in my snout. Excuse me while I have a snack. I need some redstone, some redstone torches. Other meepers here? Um, Hello, other meeper. <laughs> and, oh, these are my buttons. Okay, so now what I do is I go up to my next level between my floors. I have my hole here, uh, which is going to be my shower. And you can see I have, this is the shower for the master suite. And we've rigged that up. Um, this is where the water is. Uh, for the master suite, what I did is, uh, whoop, see, just made a source block there, and you can even crawl down. I didn't actually mean to do that, but I covered it up, just, um, I didn't want to accidentally take the water away, get in the way, um, so I set this up here, and made those source blocks, and now it's our little waterfall in our master suite. And just cover that back up. I don't know what Miparachi's doing over there. We'll check with them later. We haven't been able to get both our microphones working at the same time. So that's why you can only hear me. And uh, we don't have Miparachi on talking about um, what he's doing. So that's something that we have to figure out because we've been unable to do that. So we'll get around to that at some point. Here are some sticky pistons. That me brought you put in earlier. Um, we'll have a little like hidden door here. What, hun? Oh, this is coming. Excuse me, coming to finish the sticky pistons um, for those doors there. So I've made my hole in my ceiling and I've created a block to attach my dispenser to, which I can't. Oh, there it goes. And I need a water bucket now to put in. So we got a water bucket get a bucket and put some water in it. Here we go, I've got one right here. Um, usually what I do when I'm working is, you can see I made an everlasting uh, water source here as I was working, so I don't have to keep, you know, handy and we'll take that later. So then what I do for my shower is I put my water bucket in my dispenser and your, your button or your lever cannot be in the path of the water or it will get washed away. So here's my button on my wall, and that's where I want my button to be to be able to control my shower. And then I basically um, work backwards. Uh, so I actually need um, Miparachi's help here, because I'm not so great with the electronics, and he's the one who usually handles that. So 
I do, honey. I have a pick um a pickaxe for you to use. Um, if you help me with these electronics first. Wanna remind me where things go here? Oh, it looks like you unlocked an achievement. I'm doing the mechanics for the shower here. Wanna help me out? Here's my button. Um, uh, what am I gonna do here? I thought I had enough room here, but it looks like I might have... ...to rearrange stuff back there, because I thought I had an extra wall, but I don't. So I might have to push this... this way. <laughs> yeah, it's complicated because you have to have another tea set. That's why I told you to put in a bath. Yes, dear. I'll give you a pickaxe. Um... Ibrachi's not great about remembering his tools. Um, oh, shoot! Oh, good. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> that was really close. Um, I almost just died. I guess it wouldn't have been that big deal because I would have respawned. And um, I don't have a lot of points on me. I would have just gone back and picked up my stuff. But... Uh, <laughs> That is why sometimes when we're doing dangerous things, we uh, play on uh, and turn off autosave. Because um, that wasn't dangerous, I just wasn't paying attention and, and messed up. Uh, <laughs> but sometimes when we are doing dangerous things, um, we will turn off autosave uh, so that we don't uh, hurt ourselves too much. Uh, <laughs> It's <laughs> Did you send out a tweet, honey? That we're broadcasting? Yay! We're getting better about tweeting out when we're broadcasting live. We've got some new followers um, recently, and we want to make sure people know uh, that we're broadcasting. Uh, so, again, this is Meepret. Meeprachi's on the right. Meepret's on the left. And... What, hun? And, uh... We are two Meepers who live in New York City who play Minecraft. And right now we are redecorating our Meeper command, our new Meeper command. I shouldn't say redecorating, we are working on decorating and sprucing up our new Meeper command. So, and I realize I'm going to have to move this, move this out of block if I'm going to have room uh, for what I want to do here. Um, so, this smooth sandstone goes back here and take this button off this wall and actually so moving this is kind of a commodity here so sandstone's one of these you know things getting sand's kind of a pain so I think I'm going to since I have to move this wall take this out and save it for another spot I seem to be missing a piece of jungle wood I think oh Meeprachi picked it up by accident when he came along for his pickaxe um, so what I do is I, uh, put this wall back in over here. There's a crafting table there, I think. Or, oh, there? No, there's not. I haven't been working in the floors between. Um, okay, so I want my button to go on this block. Right here. And I'm going to ask for me Brachi's help in doing this because I often uh, get myself disoriented and confused when I do this. Um, so how do I do this again, Han? Help me out here. Please stand by, he says. And I don't want to use my sandstone for blocks that I have to make. I want to use some wood and I only have one piece. So I'm going to get some more because wood's easier to get. Sand and sandstone's kind of a pain. We What we do is we'll, we'll find a nice beach. We will... Um, mine a lot of sand and we will replace all the underneath with dirt which we have plenty of and just you know replace the top um with sand the top layer so that it looks like nothing's been done and we've gotten all the sand underneath or we'll dredge a river somewhere um, okay so this is where i always get confused come on help me out here I think I need, if, let's see if I can get this without me, Parachi's help. What? You need, he wants my help, he's asked me to come upstairs. 
so uh, you up or down? What? Oh, you want me to press the button? Press the button. Why is the button over there? Oh, you can't really put it on that side. Do you want a lever? Just use some spruce, use some birch wood. We have plenty of birch wood. I'll bring you some birch wood. Do you want a lever to help on? Sometimes it's helpful when you're working with... Your I'll bring you some birch wood. Okay, but you need some birch wood? I don't have pumpkins on me. I said I don't have pumpkins on me. So I'm going to have this as a button, but if I want to help with my electronics and make it easier to see how it's working, if I put a lever here, I can see exactly what's going on. So I can see this, this redstone torch is not being affected, which means it's not in the right spot. Um, Miparachi is the one who's really good at the electronics, and I kind of fiddle a little bit, but I, I, have, I have to kind of fiddle with it before I... Why is it not working? Maybe it has to be like that. Yeah, see, it's off. And now it's on. And it's off. And now it's on. So when it's on, that means the water would... would be, would be off. So, um... Then what I do here is I have to bring my redstone up to connect with my dispenser. So I believe if I put a block here... Right, so that's off, and oh, I need to get up here, and um, you'll see if I flip the lever again, it should turn on, and that'll show me that they're connecting and they're working, yep, and I put in another plank, and now I need to go upstairs to my in-between floor. So I'm working on the shower here with the dispenser. Excuse me, I need to get in! Does the button work? Yay! Ah! The problem is he's messing with it at the same time, so... Um, so he's making our little piston door, a little hidden door there. Uh, and I'm gonna back here working on the dispenser. Um, so I had a, a torch here, and if I put a torch here, and I put my, I believe I have this right, and I'm excited that I'm figuring out this out on my own, I need a, it's one of my smooth sandstone blocks here. Where's my smooth sandstone blocks? And I put this here, there, it's connected now, connected to my dispenser. Um, and I think that should work. And I don't need, I can fill in this, this space so no monsters spawn here because I don't need it. And now I can go downstairs and make sure my shower's working. So let's see, it looks like Meeprachi's still doing some work here. Pressure plate's not working yet. I'm locked in! Help! Oh, yay! So Meeprachi's figuring out how to make that piston door work. Yeah, we haven't done this... Oh, see, my shower is, is working. Um, but I have actually kind of um, mislocated it. And my lever has even washed away, which is <laughs> what I warned you about. I put it in the wrong place. So we're going to have to make some changes here. Um, and what I'm going to have to do right now is... I don't want to get washed away. Um, plug this up because I can't turn it off, um, because my lever isn't there. Um, what I need to do is make it recessed, which is, which is what I forgot to do. But my water's actually flowing right, right here in this spot. Yes. Ah, <laughs> Niparachi's a little embarrassed because, uh, he hasn't figured this out. Um, put my redstone torch back here. Um, my 
bucket. Oh, you can see because technically it's on now, my bucket of water came out. And we're, we're probably, everyone's probably laughing at us and our electronic abilities right now because, <laughs> um, because like I'm trying to figure this out and I can't, usually what we do is we actually have the button or something recessed and I don't know why I can't quite. Maybe something's broken. Weren't we having problems with the pistons the other? Recently, with an update, the pistons hadn't been working at all, but now they're, now they seem they're working again. But um, we are having a bit of trouble here. I'm gonna have to move my dispenser over one. It's gonna have to go here, and uh, I'll go get that next. And this can be sealed back up. And I think I should be able to put my stairs back here. Doo -doo -doo. And my button here. And that should work. And now I can, I need to refill my bucket. Hey, give me some of that snack. We're playing Minecraft. Eating some green pepper. It's delicious. Wormy Pertrivia? Um, I don't know. Um, how many meepers does it change, take to change a light bulb? How many, says Meeperachi. Um, the answer is, um, done! We called the handyman to do it. <laughs> um, well, it depends on which light bulb. If it's one of the big light bulbs in the ceiling, uh, like the big fluorescent light bulb in the bathroom. That's the handyman. Uh, if it's our light bulbs and our lamp, we can take care of that on all. Oh! Okay, you got me locked in here, hon. Wah! <laughs> this doesn't belong here. Hi! Where's your royal outfit? You're supposed to be wearing your king outfit. And all your diamond armor. Instead, he's dressed like he's going to play tennis. Okay, let's try this again. Dispenser up. Water bucket in. Ready and go. Ah, shoot. Something's not working. I try this again. I could have sworn I had it right. Yeah, it's come help me. The Brachi's offering to come offering to come help. I'm in the, the junior suite. Make my shower work. <laughs> He's telling me to move. No, look, it's it's this is the spot, see? It's not in the path of discretion. Do you do you wanna talk? Nope. No, he doesn't want to talk. I thought he might want to explain um what he was doing here. Uh so we've actually it's been very cold here in New York City the past few days. Um been absolutely frigid. And what do meepers do when it's absolutely frigid outside? They stay inside as much as possible. Um so uh there we go. He's got it working. There we go. There's your shower. Hi! Don't fall out the window like I did. Why isn't he getting stuck back up? I did it wrong. I'm being yelled at. One more up. Can you put that, do you have still that jungle wood plank on you? Can you put the jungle wood plank back where it belongs? So this is what I mean about you've got to have um, one block or surrounding your water has got to be an actual space or your water is going to, a whole block or a stair because it's going to go everywhere. If I took this block out, 
See? It will flow. Uh huh. Okay, hang on. Let me put my stairs back. I was showing him how it how it flows like that. Like it has to be. I'm gonna put my stairs in there. I'm gonna follow the window again. Eh, I can't. It's not letting me knock out the. Oh, that was weird. It wasn't letting me knock out the red torch. I have other red torches on me. It's okay. Okay. Sorry. Knock that out. Knock what out? The sandstone. Meet Brachi's giving me instructions to fix the shower. Um, but you can't hear him. And for some reason we can't get this to work. It's not. It's got to be right on the back. I told you I had it right the first time. It's got to be right on the back. No, we're not doing well. It's got to be right on the back. I had, yeah, I had that before. That's what I had before. Yeah, I don't want to fall out the window again. I could have sworn I had it on the back. That's so weird. <sighs> we're not doing well with our electronics tonight. <laughs> I think the broad is going upstairs now to make sure this is uh, working the way it should. No, see now a brick goes here. I had done this. A brick goes here. That's where it has to go. No, no, no. To your right. To your right. Over there. That one. Yeah. It's not going to work. It's... Yeah, there's got to be here. Yeah, and then the Goes on top. Yeah, I thought that's how I had it. I don't know what happened. Don't use a use a. And you put a torch on top of it. There, now it got sucked up. But I had it working at one point. It was weird. It was like working, and then it wasn't working. So shower on. Dun, dun, dun. Shower off. Yay! And if I want to make this easier so I don't float away, um, I put a little sandstone slab right here. Dun, dun, dun. It's having a, a large delay, and we don't always get that. I'm wondering, sometimes things, they've been making a lot of changes with the game. and But there's our shower. The click, you can hear that. I mean, when I'm pressing the button, the click is very delayed. Click. Um, which is usually not such a long delay. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, but there's a shower. So now I'm just going to seal this space up. Um, nothing can spawn in here, but I do have a flashlight in here. Um, a torch, you know, just to be safe. Um, is this my sandstone slab? No. Um, or my smooth sandstone, rather. I have a lot of materials on me, and I'm getting all confused. Um, smooth sandstone. There you go. So that's our shower. Shouldn't take us normally. <laughs> Shouldn't take us that long to complete. Um, but it's really cool here. It's right here. You got a beautiful view out the window as you're taking a shower. <laughs> and I'm actually, because of the way this worked out, I'm going to put these pillar courts back here, which I have previously taken out. I want it to be vertical, so I put it on the bottom. There you go, and you have a beautiful view while you're taking a shower. La 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 la! And there we go, there's your shower. Um, finishing touch on our shower, we like to use some glass panes on the edge. I have some of those in here. Amy Brachi, how's it going with those, uh, that secret door and those pistons? He says, we're doing. So, uh, he's figuring it out. And, uh, this is where I kind of finagle and 
Um, there we go. That's nice because I've got some regular sandstone. I've got some sandstone slab. And it all fits nicely together. And there's our shower. Ta-da! Actually, considering most of the room is smooth sandstone, it might be nice to do the shower just in all sandstone. I might change that later, but here's your shower. You come around the corner, step up. La 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 la! Singing in the shower! And there we go! And Miparachi's asking for some help. Um, so... Oh, I know what we did in the other one that one time. We did stairs. The other way. That's what I think we did with the glass. I knew that didn't... There was one time we did... Is that what we did? Yeah, and now it looks like... Now it's actually... You look like you have a little bit more space here. You're not crammed up against the wall, but the, the glass is still... Attached, so I'm gonna need one more set of stairs to do that. And now I'm running upstairs to go help out me, Parachi. Hello, what can I do for you, sir? What switch? The outside switch? Okay. Flip. There we go. And I think no matter what happens, we are gonna put a sandstone block here. And then you. Oh, that's a chiseled sandstone. Yay! Hey, say that again. No. No. <laughs> you went dun 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 dun. I think our um, secret little doorway is working now. Ready? Yay! And then you can come in and access what you need to. Um. Uh huh. I still should be a button. Can you put it here instead? No, okay. Okay. Um, so we'll have to do that on our other floors so we can access our between floors. And, um, oh, I wanted to make another, another sandstone stair. Sandstone stair. Da 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 da. There we go. And there's our lovely shower. Okay. I think I might change this to regular sandstone to contrast with the decorations maybe. Um with the with the other walls. Let's see. Sandstone. Yeah, that's nice. Contrasts a little bit with everything. Which means I have to change some of this here. But, um, it should only interfere with... Oh, that thing. I'm gonna have to move that thing, which is actually kind of a pain. The things I do to make everything perfect. Um, and then what I do is I stick this button back, and I'm gonna have to, um access this from a different point to fix that and I'm gonna access it from up here and go down. So you'll find it when you're when you're decorating you'll you know do things one way and then you decide to change it so you gotta go make some changes and uh it can always be fun. So that was down here that I need to fix. There's my axe for my wood and now I'm on the wrong things. Um, when you're playing, you know, double player, you're fine sometimes. That especially when your things can go slowly and hiccup. Um, especially when you're accessing your inventory, we find is uh, um, one of the worst times. It slows down a lot. Um, so now I put this back here, and let's go. Here. There. And there. And there. And everything should be working fine. Let's go check. Close our little door. 
our access door. Back down here. And da da da. There we go. Now it's working right. And we've got it decorated the way we want. Excellent. And we've got a shower. There we go with a beautiful view. Ta da! So that's our shower in our junior suite. Now I think I'm going to stick a little toilet right over here. And um, vanity over here or something. Um, actually, I like the idea of having the bathroom in the, in the sandstone and the sandstone slab in the regular part. So I think I might even uh, take this out. I have to decide. Yes, it's cold outside. As I was saying, it's been frigid cold here in New York. Um, not only has it uh, temperature been in the 20s, but the wind chill has been. I don't know. You did that, hon. The half stone slab. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna knock those out. So change it. No, I don't need to change. Do I need? What do you need? So with our toilets. usually have them um, embedded with a half stone slab and forgot the way I did this because I'm getting confused because I used, um, no, I want those like that. Aldrin gets embedded halfway in the floor. Um, so when we do our toilets, they're either sort of one step up or one half down to make it look like you're actually lowering, lowering yourself um, onto a seat. Like that. So that's our little toilet. Um, and we can add some water and a trapdoor. I dropped some things in between the floor here. I'm gonna go pick them up. Excuse me. The hazards of working this way. There we go, pick my stuff up on the floor. And I think Nibrachi's working on the uh, other trapdoor there into our to our space and I speaking of trapdoors I need to use an actual trapdoor for my toilet which I think I put in here the other thing is when you're working in double mode um, the images these things get really small and I'm like and I have trouble finding things and I think I just got rid of something I didn't want to get rid of yeah so I have my cauldron and I need to get um, some water and a stone, a, st I'm gonna use a stone pressure plate. That's what we use for the top of the toilets to make it look like it's like the push button. Um, fill my buckets. I'll we'll need them for other things. And we go back to our toilet here. Some water in our cauldron. Stick a trap door on top. That's our toilet lid. This is a, a Meeper, or Meeper patented design we came up with on our own for toilets. Ta-da! Excuse me, I need to urinate. Flush. We're... I'm not pressing my pressure light plate. <laughs> um, here's our little toilet. Yay! So now we have a nice shower and a toilet. 
and a finishing touch is um, some, some sinks, and I have to now sort of decide where I want the wall to be, and the sinks. I could put in one, I could put in a sink right here. It's a little tight over here, but that's all right. Um, maybe like that. Um, or I can push this, you know, do a wall here and have a door and do a sink over here uh, instead. Uh, which uh, provides a little bit more room for people move around. So I've got a couple different options here and often what I'll do is I'll just lay stuff out and uh, see what I come up with. See what I like. Try a couple different things. Consult with me, Barachi. Say, hey, what do you like better? Um, so here's one option and I'll play around with get rid of our torch. Um, I can put a door right here. And we've got our toilet, and da -da -da. and um, maybe like that. Two sinks right next to each other. I like using slabs on the side for little counters. Uh, and there's our little bathroom. So hey, me Brachi, what do you think? I'm gonna ask me Brachi now. What he thinks? Got a second? He's uh, busy doing some mechanics, so I'll give him a moment, and I'll ask him what he... Okay, now he's... he's I'm going to show him my little bathroom here. What do you think? Oh, I like it. Toilet. Shower. Double sinks. What do you think? I like it. Okay, so we have uh, finished the bathroom... Um, in our junior suite here and I haven't focused on lighting yet or anything right now I'm just putting up torches and we will work on putting in um, some nice lighting later but right now we've got some torches up to keep the monsters away we're actually playing in peaceful right now but uh, when we get that st when we do you know go back we're not gonna want them to get in so now I need water for my sinks I have one bucket here and I need a door for the bathroom. So there's sink one. And sink two. And I have extra doors in here. And, uh, usually we just leave our doors open. Um, oh, that was weird. That is the weirdest thing I think I have ever seen. Um, I don't know why <laughs> it's not letting me put this door here. Um, maybe Miprachi can help me figure it out. Hey Miprachi, why is it not letting me put this door here? I wonder... I, I can't put a door on a slab? Really? Oh, apparently I can't put a door on a, sing on a single sandstone slab or on a slab, but I don't think I even really actually knew that. So, you know, I had done that because that's all I had and I wanted to save some space. Um, but, uh... There we go! Now it's working. Um, so that's, you know, you learn something new every day in this game. Sometimes things are different. So you can't put a door on a, on a single slab. It's got to be on a, a double slab, which makes a full block or something like that. Um, so there we go. So here's our nice little bathroom. Again, this is our desert theme room, and that's why I've used uh, sandstone. We're going to incorporate some cactus decorations into the room and some green carpet. Um, maybe some yellow or orange, something like that. Um, each of our, our rooms here has, has a different theme. Um, so this is part of our junior suite. And to save on some sandstone, which is a precious resource. I know I have this back here that doesn't need to be here. So I will plug that space up with some birch planks, which we have plenty of. Um, I don't want sandstone. I want smooth sandstone, which I think I am running low.
low on. Oh, I still have 38 pieces. Um, shit, I have to finish this turn. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, so this window, what I'll do is, since I have the wall here, um, these two windows will come out. And I'll put some more pillar quartz in. And Miparachi needs some help with his switch, so I'm gonna go uh, help him with that. And I, I have been doing this, we've been doing this thing where I had all the windows where they never went to the edge. But I think I'm gonna change that um, because I don't, you know, the windows are nice. And I want the window, I want the windows here. It's like you're standing at the sink. Um, the windows can be there. And, uh, so I think I'll just, you know, stick two pillar cords back in there and we'll leave the windows there. Okay, going to help the meat brachi doing his, uh, his indoors. I think this is where he is, yep. Um, so I'm going to flip the switch. And there it goes. Awesome. Our doors are working. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock down this wall because I'm going to expand this room a bit. Sleepy. What time is it? And I think what I will do here is just wait to put in the wall. I'm just going to kind of decorate, see how far I get. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of put in the wall. Probably be somewhere, you know, here. About. Something like that. Um, so I want to have a bed and probably a couple couches. See what uh, come up here again. We're making the floor will be sandstone. I have all the slabs, so I'm using a slab um, where I can. Uh, nope, we want on the top, not the bottom. Um, that's my silk touch. I don't want to use that. Be very careful where you point with these things, as you, can, as you just saw, or they might get switched to some place you don't actually want them. So, Miprachi, what do you think? Should I have the whole the wall birch wood and do the bed feature like I did before, or should I do the whole wall sandstone? Remember how I did it? Um, I think I have a couple of beds hiding away somewhere in here. There we go. I had designed something earlier with some sandstone and a design for this room. Um, so I'll try uh, doing that again and, and see how it looks. Um, sort of this. sandstone back wall feature. And there we go. And again, where I don't need sandstone, I'm putting other things or leaving it empty. But sandstone is one of the harder, harder resources to get. There we go. We have a nice little um, Headboard feature there. And I think I'll take this down and put birch wood so it's only like this headboard area that's decorated. What do you think? I like it. You can put stuff with flowers and torches or something. It looks really cool. Should I put the whole, the whole sandstone wall headboard here?
kind of like, like that. Okay. Um, so that's that. And let's see. Can the wall extend out a bit further. So we have room for some wardrobes and a couch. And maybe I'll put um, a couch right here. And um, I'm just trying to think. Um, how do I want to do this? So maybe I'll put a wall right here where I want a wardrobe. Now I can sort of move this over and have it in the wall. I kind of like that idea. Oh, what'd you get, Meeper? New achievement. Um, so one of the things with the new with the Xbox one edition update and everything. It's a reset all our achievements. Um, so as we've gone along playing every day, we kind of, I've unlocked some new achievements. Um, I guess me broadcasting or did you interrupt the broadcast? You made a hoe. So we got an achievement for making a hoe. Um, let's make sure we're still... It says we're still broadcasting. Just click the left button. See, it says at the bottom. Um. Move this here. I've got this block that's like floating around and being funny. And put that back, and I have room to put in a wardrobe. Maybe I'll use some spruce wood. Spruce wood. Oh, there you go. Spruce wood planks. That's what I'm looking for. And I want a couple of stone buttons. really nice. And um, I think that's out of it. I think this junior suite is done. Maybe it needs, needs a table or a couch or something. Um, just put a table or a couch. Table, couch, I guess I should put in something. Just put in a couch using some, some nice green wool. Oh, I have some green wool right here, and some spruce stairs. I like using the spruce with the birch. It provides a nice contract, contrast. Um, the oak and the, uh, the birch, I find, are too close in color for that kind of thing. Um, so I'll play here. I'll have a wall here. Oh, me brachies. Uh, what are you doing? You exiting? Checking out his uh, features. We'll go to your favorites. Don't you have your your? Oh, it's not letting you switch. And um, I have a nice little couch right here. I have my door over here. Or I can just make it a little love seat. Love seat. Person couch. And I can have my door here. And um, this would be our junior suite. What do you think? Should I make it bigger? No. <laughs> he says, no, don't make it bigger.
And I think we're almost done with our with our junior suite here. feeling too talkative at the moment. <laughs> there we go. And we'll put our door. I like things to be even a lot. I'm very into things being even or symmetrical and things like that. Me, Brachi, is always challenging me to be a bit uh, more different with my things. So I do try that. We've come up with some cool designs. Um, there we go, there's our door. And replace this with sandstone slab. Which we're using in our floor in here to go with our desert theme. Got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> and now I need some spruce slab for a little coffee table. And, yep. There we go. And actually, since that's right there, maybe I should. <coughs> Um, move the door over. Move the door over. Excuse me. Moving the door over. Move the door over. There we go. That's better. Get ourselves a door. Meet Brachi said he's having problems changing his, his texture characters. I don't know what's going on. Um, there we go. Oh yeah? Actually, I could do the door over here and change something around if I wanted. What you doing? Oh, you were going to do the Star Wars texture pack? Yeah. He brought you his thing, trying, trying out the Star Wars texture pack, but we decided we didn't want to pay for it. Um, a lot of these extra texture packs you do have to pay for. Um, so they're fun, but uh, you think you can get it, and then you click on it, and it's like, oh, give us more money. Okay, we have room for some more windows here. <coughs> Minecraft's kind of a really good deal, so... Um, yeah, Minecraft is a good deal. What is it? It's like $15 or something like that. Um, so, you know, if you got to pay $3 or what it is for a texture pack. Um, I'm still waiting for the customization thing to come out for the Xbox version. Right now, I think it's only available on the computer. Is that right? What? The, like, custom texture pack thingy. There are? I said something about it the other day, and you were like, no, it's only available on the computer. What? Something you don't know. What? Brought you says he has bad news for me. Exterminate! Oh no! The Daleks are here! We did we did get the um what? Ah the Dalek! No! Ah, run away! Where's the doctor when you need him? Ah, he's chasing me! <laughs> We're Doctor Who fans. Barrier! Exterminate! <laughs> We're Doctor Who fans, and we did uh, unlock the Doctor Who texture pack. Um, so, uh, that's another fun thing to have. 
Uh, <laughs> he was yell. Oh, you probably—I don't know if you heard—he was yelling "exterminate, exterminate," which, if you're a Doctor Who fan, you would have guessed that that's what he was saying already. Uh, so I've decided I'm gonna move his door. Excuse me, Mr. Dalek. You're in my way. Hey, shoot. Creeper in a suit. That's pretty funny. What happened to the um the king outfit? Not like in your favorites? Didn't no, we like put it in our favorite? They were erased? I am. Ah, it's Groot! I am Groot. Hi, Groot! I am Groot! Oh, that's better. Now we can see you better now. We've got some light in here. I am Groot! Say it in the microphone. No. <laughs> Be Brachi's being shy tonight. He won't do his impressions for anyone. <laughs> they're not too good. No, they're not that great, but they amuse me, which is the most important part. No! Stop taking apart my stuff! <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, so I think we've just about uh, completed the basics for our junior suite here tonight. Um, as you can see, I'll take another quick overview and, and show you around. This is our guest quarters floor. We have our master suite, which has a water theme. It's a beautiful mosaic. Oh, I need to fill in that. Spot. I don't think I have any blue wool left up here. I'll have to bring up uh, another piece of blue wool for that spot that got left. But we made this nice little mosaic. We've got a couch, a coffee table, um, this uh, lovely water feature behind our bed, our headboard. We've got uh, ample wardrobe space. And I've sort of been playing around with the windows here and I've taken out this row, but I think I'm going to put them back. Um, is it a nice view? Me Bracha just commented how a night view is. Um, it's raining, but we have a, a gorgeous view. Um, over there we have um, a beautiful waterfall, um, and that's our beacon tower. Uh, that is this giant, this M here with the glowstone at top. You can't see it; it's that behind the, the wall there. Basically. That was one of the first things we built, right? That was Temple of the Sacred Meep. Our old Meeper command is right about there. You can't really see it. Um, we have this huge wall protecting the beach that we built to keep all the monsters out. And this village um, here was there um, when the game started and we've, we've boxed it all in and protected it. Um, and made some changes to it, added some buildings, made some more houses and added doors so our villagers would get a lot of villagers. Um, that's our farm. Um, there's a pool back there, and this is our railroad and Meeper Station. And then Roger decides to come back in. He can't decide what he wants to do. And we've got our this is our walkway that you can see is partially lit. It continues there, and there's our our pyramid. What did I call the pyramid again? I don't even remember. I made something in there, a little house. No, that's Temple of the Sacred Meat. <coughs> oh, that's me this is like me, Brett's. This is like my little cool place. This is where I go hang out when I want to be alone. <laughs> um, and so. And you're confusing me because I was giving them another tour and you like an overview. Yeah. Nice. I'm admiring. I'm admiring my work. 
my decorative ability to work. I think this is the coolest room that we're really excited about, this jungle room. Which we need. Oh, we can probably see uh, Miparachi if we look out. His Dalek outfit as he crosses the bridge. There he goes! Hi! <laughs> oh, you disappeared. That's so funny. I guess you're a little too far. We can see the bridge, but we can't see you. It doesn't render in the uh, But you can see on the bridge. He's there. He's approaching right about there. Oh, now he's in the dark. Well, you can fix it. So do some landscaping. He says we need full landscaping service. So I have some features I do want to add here. Again, this is sort of our, our desert-themed room. Um, I've got some cactus waiting to be decorated. No, I don't want this over here because now it's uneven. And I don't like it. You know, I don't like uneven. So, take that out. I like things to be even and symmetrical. That's better. Yeah. Remember, I told you I was putting put some cactus down there to grow some cactus. Um, the cactus is kind of annoying to grow. Um, it grows very slowly. It's one to one. Um, there we go. Gorgeous. I told you something I think that's and they were working the other day, but now I think something's wrong with them. I was playing earlier and I knocked one down and I only yeah, first of all you have to definitely have to knock it down from the top. If you knock it from the bottom, you're only gonna get the one from the bottom. But I was knocking them down, I was not getting the pieces that I was knocking. Um, so it seemed see, is it did it give it to you? Wait, 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 before you knock any more down. Okay, it's letting you pick it up because the other ones like disappeared, right? Maybe it's because they're diagonal next to each other. I've tried playing them diagonally, which I hadn't done. No, because I was having issues before, nor pieces I was not getting. Try knocking down the bottom. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Well, I was having problems with the cactus earlier. They definitely were not giving me the right number of pieces. But uh, Speaking of cacti, I'll probably put a cactus in the corner here or something. This is the desert theme. I'm use some green carpet. Get some careful around cactus. It does hurt you. Um, so I need some green carpet. Maybe I'll use some yellow carpet. So some yellow wool here. I haven't really decided what kind of carpet I want to use yet in here. Um, maybe even some red or orange or red and yellow. Let's try the yellow and see what happens. Yellow carpet. And I need some glowstone. Put that under the carpet. Provides lighting. Um, keeps the monsters away. Did I just take my glowstone? Yes, I did. What do you think of the yellow carpet in here with the desert theme? Niparachi says he likes it. So we're going to, yeah, I like it. We're gonna, I don't want to do green. There's a lot of green in the other room, so I didn't really want to continue with the green. There's a lot of green in the jungle. I was like, what color can you use with the desert that goes with the desert? And we weren't really sure. And we were thinking of yellows and reds and oranges. Um, so we can use that. And when I, okay, you guys stop doing that. He brought you will, will sometimes exit the game without warning me, and then I, it's just kind of startling. Um, since we can't put anything on top of the carpet, we just use a regular wool block and put the beds on top. And um, it looks like.
looks like you've still got full carpeting. There you go. And I will put some bowstone in the corners uh, to keep things light so we can see. And you can see when you put the carpet on top, it, it still provides a lot of lighting. So that's a little trick we learned. There we go, we've got some nice light in the room and the floor and I'm gonna, we're gonna be putting in some redstone lamps with switches and the ceilings and stuff later, but I wanted to get the decorations in first and get everything how we want it before we started addressing other light systems because having the torches around is, you know, it kind of gets old, it's a lot of torches. I'm gonna replace this with yellow, I'm gonna stick with the yellow and then the only green in here will be the, the cactus because we use so much green wool in the jungle room. Very nice. Yes, it is. Lovely. So we have some beautiful guest quarters here in our new neighbor command. We hope you'll come stay with us. One day. I think right now we actually have the online game turned off. We had it online for a while and then we turned it off because we were having some issues with it. Um, but we'll have to do that again. And I'm getting pretty tired here. It's uh quite an evening of finishing up decorating. So the only thing I left to do on this floor is do some redstone lamps. This is a common area that we'll be decorating. We'll put in some couches and tables and stuff, I guess, and things like that. Um, yeah. That's that. And now that I'm done with my everlasting water source, um, I can cover it up, but I'm going to fill up these buckets first so I have it if I need the water. way to get rid of an everlasting water source is to fill it in and take it out. I always try to clean up after myself. I'm a little bit of a neat freak. Unlike me, Brachi. He sticks his stuff in a chest and then I come in and like, like, oh no, it's a mess. I have to clean up. <laughs> I'm very organized. You can see I put all my wood back in here. Wood. Wood. And I got all my other stuff in here. My carpet's up at top. Things had gotten pretty messy. I couldn't find things I wanted, so I did some organization. Got all my mechanical stuff over here. Some more wool. And my sandstone. Sandstone. Stuff. A bucket of water. I got lots of buckets of water. We got some dirt. We often use that just filler stuff you need if you need to reach a ceiling or things like that. It's useful. I'm getting real sleepy. I'm gonna go to bed soon. Uh, oh, here's something. This is a slab. This is like the most boring broadcast ever where I'm like, this is me putting stuff away in my chest. Yay. <laughs> but we like broadcasting. It's fun. Um, and uh, there we go. Oh, let me get some torches up over here. It's dark over here. If we turn on regular mode again, we're going to get monsters spawning and we don't want that. Yeah, we need to put like a rug down there. Yeah, we'll put a rug, we'll put some glowstone underneath. We um, have been playing a lot on Peaceful as we've been building because things have been dark and we didn't want to risk anything getting blown up accidentally by a creeper. Um, this is still my favorite room. I really like the way this room, this jungle themed room came out. This is our jungle themed room geared towards kids a little bit. It's fun and exciting. The bathroom's made out of jungle wood too. Um, I haven't added any other elements here, but maybe I'll maybe I'll put some green and wool on the walls or something. This wall doesn't have anything behind it. It's got an extra wall, so maybe I can put some green in there. Um, ben, yeah! Good morning. Well, good evening, but it's morning in Minecraft land. 
It's a beautiful day in Minecraft world. It's a beautiful day in New Meep. Let's go check it out from the roof. From our, our rooftop deck in the clouds. Hello! It's a beautiful day in New Meep. A beautiful day in New Meep. <laughs> Everything we've made. Yes, your beacon is working. The beacon is working. Sometimes uh, me Prachi made these cool beacons, and sometimes they just they stop working. Um, that one's not working either. Yeah, he's saying there's no rhyme or reason. Just sometimes they work fine, and you know, for days, weeks at a time, and then on one day we'll just come on and they'll have turned off. I mean, they're designed to just work perpetually and not not turn off, but um, wow, we got a great view from up here. Uh, AC, what, what you s what? I want And basically what we see here is um, all the original map. You can't see much further than that, but even on the original map, you see further than you used to. Render that far. You can see your part. Oh, it's weird. You could like <coughs> see it here. When you're not looking at it directly, you see a little bit further. So you can see our party house off in the upper right. Oh, we're in a cloud. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's it for tonight. Me Barachi says we should put in a golf course in this whole area here. Um, that could be fun. We we could make a little golf course right by our, our new our new Meeper command. Yep. That could be fun. <laughs> Trump at Meep Trump at new Meep. We're making fun of Donald Trump, um, who makes golf courses all over everywhere. Um, Donald Trump at New Meep Golf Course. Yeah, Meep Meeper Trump yeah, Golf yeah, Course. Yeah, <laughs> <coughs> right. Ah, he, me Brad, you're saying we should actually recreate a real golf course. Well, we need a lot more space than that. We need a lot more space than that. We could build something, you know, for PJ Nationals, like something like that. I don't know if we got any golf fans listening. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is me Brett and me Brachi. Have a meeting good night. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Wait.